Hello, hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to get all of the seasonal candles for today. We'll do the daily quests, we'll find information on today's shard event, and we'll also get the treasure cakes. First up, we have some seasonal candle bundles to find. There are two up in the social space of the Daylight Prairie, and the rest can all be found below. So let's head down through this cloud tunnel, and I'll meet you at the bottom. Once we're down here, we have two more to find. One is kind of immediately in the middle area here, kind of in front of the rightmost cave entrance. And then one is just on top of this big round rock. And each of these little candle bundles we find is going to give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a seasoned candle. So finding all four of these will give us one total seasonal candle. Nice! Easy peasy. With all these found, let's get started on today's daily quests. The green light is a bit tricky to find. It can be found in the prairie bird's nest area, which is the rightmost area when you go down that cloud tunnel. The only thing is it will be flying in the air for quite a while and it will be unreachable. So I'm going to stay here. This is where it will eventually fall. If we look up, you can see some mantas carrying a dim green light. They're going to go around a few times, usually about, uh, I think it's five, four or five times in a circle. And then eventually they will drop it, and it should slowly fall in this area. Today's spirit to relive is the bird whisperer, which we can find in the bird's nest. This spirit is super easy to relive, they're just on this little tower the rightmost one when you enter. And we just have to follow them up the tower. Just gotta go across and then up. It is probably easier if you're actually walking along it, but I was impatient, so I flew for most of it. Ah, and then I fell for some of it. This is the final checkpoint right here, and this spirit is done. Our next two quests can both be done within the Sanctuary Island. You can either fly there by going through the bird's nest area where we just relived the bird spirit, or you can go through the wind paths if you have those unlocked. I'm gonna fly through this cloud tunnel here and it should take me straight there. This is within the bird's nest area. Once we're here, we're gonna actually see some floating jellyfish pretty much right in front of us by this floating island here. For our next quest, we have to recharge our light from a jellyfish, so I recommend losing all your light if you can. And then we're gonna land on the jellyfish and jump up once we've landed and the quest should complete. Just like that, quest complete. And you can also do that quest within any realm that has a jellyfish. It doesn't specifically have to be right here. Now we're gonna head to the opposite side of this island um, towards those mini islands in the background. And that is where we can find the event spirits from the previous Days of Nature events. So we're gonna go to the biggest of these islands behind here, the one that's kind of on the right hand side. Skipping ahead because it takes forever to fly over here, but we are going to rid the Sanctuary Vortex of Darkness, I believe that's what the quest is called. Once we pass those spirits, there's actually a manatee on the ground here. What we have to do is burn the darkness from the manatee, and then it will lead us to a vortex that is just filled with trash. So burn that darkness and then start the quest by speaking with the manatee again, and then we're going to follow it uh, pretty far into the ocean here. You might even be faster than the manatee, that's fine. We're pretty much just going straight from here and you should eventually see some uh, darkness popping up in the water. There it is. And that's where we can find our vortex. So this is where our quest will be completed. This one does take a little while and a bit of swimming to complete. And there's a few cutscenes that you could skip, but I don't think I skipped for some reason. The Sanctuary Vortex. Ah. Uh, and then the Anxious Angler will row up on their boat. And this is where we can actually officially start the quest. We have to sit down at the boat to start it. And then we can start picking up some trash. Where am I? Ah. 
some underwater. Fly over here, sit down at the boat. Let's pick up some garbage. Another little cutscene. No! No! There we go. Sit down. And let's pick up some trash. If you need to, you can always call and it will show you the exact location of the trash. But for the most part, it's like boots and harpoons. and They're a little bit lighter than the other pieces of trash. So they do stand out a little bit. I think this is finally my last piece. Please? Please? Done. Alright, quest is complete. And I believe, yeah, when we complete it, we also get a shell at the bottom of the ocean here. Which will give us a pretty big amount of wax. So quest is complete, and might as well pick this up while we're here. And that's it for today's quests. Yay! Today's rotating treasure candles can be found in the Valley of Triumph. Our first one is up here in the social space, and the rest are all below. Our second one is just by the ice rink right here. And our third one is in the next area, in the Citadel. Just towards the very end of the Citadel. And our fourth and final one is at the very end of the race, in the Colosseum. We can find it on the right-hand side of the Colosseum today. And that is all four treasure candles. Today's shard event takes place in the Valley of Triumph. We can find it at the ice rink just down here. And it is a black shard, so that means it'll be pretty easy today. And it will award us with regular candles upon completion. Um, this is a recording of one of them, but it finished by the time I got there, so it's not a particularly helpful recording. The times for today's shards are on the screen now. This is in PDT or PST time. If you'd like to convert it into your own time zone, I do have a time zone converter linked in the description of this video. So again, yes, a very, very easy shard event. I don't think there's shard crabs or anything, but I could be wrong. And it'll just be somewhere around the rink. Not necessarily in this exact position, could be on the other side, could be around, but should be somewhere around here and super easy to get some wax. Yeah. Okay, good luck with your shard event today. Bye! And that is all of today's daily changes in the Daylight Prairie. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I will of course See you in the next video. Bye-bye.